Hey there, this is Jess for Ace Poker Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and set up the LD Player Emulator. The process is very simple. All you have to do is download the emulator, install it, and install the poker app that you want to play. First, let's go to Google and then type LD Player. Hit enter. First result will be from ldplayer.net. Click on that. And just click on the big yellow button to download the LD player. After the download is finished, just open the file to run it. This is the LD player installer. Just click on install and wait for the download and the install to finish basically this is a downloader so it's not uh, i mean you have to download it will download the file first before it installs but if you prefer to download the offline installer instead we can also do that in case you have some uh, connection issues so I'll go ahead and cancel this and we'll go back to the LD player website. Okay, so just below the big yellow button, the Google Drive text link is there. Just click on that and download the file. So it's 417 MB. It's the offline installer. So just wait for that to finish that or the first one. And then we'll install the LD Player emulator. So once the download is finished, just double click on the installer file and follow along the instructions. So all you have to do is click on install and wait for the installation to finish. After the installation is finished, you're going to have uh, two similar icons, LD Player 4 and LD Player, LD Multiplayer 4 icon. Uh, so we'll try launching the LD Player 4 first. And this is the main interface of LD Player. Basically, it's like having a Android phone or tablet on your PC. Just close this. Uh, so just the basics. This is the back button, the home button, and the app switch button. Now we're going to try and install a poker app. I've already installed Poker Bros and Red Dragon here. But for your reference, I'll show you how to install an app. Say you wanted to download Red Dragon Poker, so just go to Google and type Red Dragon Poker. It will be the first result, this one with the Chinese writing. Just click on that. And go here to the menu, Red Dragon Poker app. All right. Uh, click on Android. Click on click download APK and just select from these three buttons to download the APK file. Once the download is finished, it will look something like this. So Red Dragon Poker is named as ES. All you have to do is uh, drag it to the emulator and release the mouse button and it will install. See, you will get this message, it's installed, try it. In my case, I've already installed it, so I just showed you. After you've installed your poker app, all you need to do is click on the app icon and wait for the app to load. And then you're on the app's uh, home screen. 
So all you've got to do is log in or register if it's your first time. Now, if you want to do multi-tabling, I'm going to show you a quick settings on how to set that up. So first, we're going to close this Emlayer window. OK, so close that. And launch this one, the LD Multiplayer 4. Uh, I already have several instances here, so I'm going to delete delete first this two. So this is the original emulator. This was the first emulator that we opened. So now it says the status is off, etc. What you want to do is to duplicate this into uh, how many tables you want, for example, three. All you've got to do is click on new clone and it will be clone player. So since we only have one player, just it's already selected, LD player. And it will clone the emulator along with whatever apps you've already installed. Okay, so let's try um, clone player. Now you see the clone is there. It has a dash one after its name. I'll go ahead and make another one. So now you see we have uh, three players. Sorry, uh, one original emulator and uh, two clones. And now I'll show you how to batch load, batch start them. Just check which uh, instances you want to run, then click on batch and click on start selected. This means five seconds interval after you start the first one, then the next one will start after five seconds. So I'll go ahead and click it. First emulator, second emulator. And third emulator. Going back to the instance manager, you can click on align windows to make the windows aligned so they fit in your window. Yeah. And now you have three emulators side by side. And you can launch the uh, same poker app to do multi-tabling. And that's it. And another thing, uh, just to show you more settings. So just click on this gear icon. And here you have different tabs like advanced model game settings. Uh, it will allow you to change, for example, there's a resolution. If you want it to be in mobile, like this layout or tablet layout, perhaps. Also, CPU and RAM is there. They determine how fast, how smooth your gameplay will be. So you can play with that also. And in game settings, you can even change the FPS or frames per second as well as other settings that you can play with to make your game optimal. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video and good luck at the tables.